It's my fault for pointing out what James Franklin, the Penn State coach, said publicly in a press conference that Saquon Barkley told him what happened when he was on the phone with Eagles GM Howie Roseman, which, again, that's a no-no. That's a red flag. You can't have direct communications with the player during the 52-hour negotiating window. Here's Saquon Barkley from his introductory press conference. He got the memo on what to say and what not to say. Here's Barkley talking about what James Franklin had to say and whether he spoke to the Eagles directly during the recruiting period. Coach Franklin, I think he kind of misinterpreted uh, the, it's, this, the truth was the, the sell pitch to Penn State, uh, how many Penn State fans are Philadelphia Eagles fans. But that was through my agent, and my agent told me that. So, um, you know, I got it happens, um, and I'm going to let the Philly handle that. See, this one is easier to clean up and look the other way on. Because unless there is evidence of direct communication from Howie Roseman to Saquon Barkley, and I guarantee you, if Saquon Barkley did speak directly to Howie Roseman, it would have been agent with like a three-way call or, or in the room with Saquon on speaker and Saquon hears it even though he's not directly talking to Saquon. They're not going to bust them on this. They're going to have a hard time finding a smoking gun. In Atlanta, Kirk Cousins stood at the podium and said, here's the smoking gun. Here it is. Oh, wait, I got another one, too. For Darnell Mooney, here's the smoking gun for tampering with me. Here's the smoking gun for tampering with Darnell Mooney. Uh, uh, stop giving us a hard time about this. It, it's just a smoking gun. I mean, come on. So that's the difference. I think the Eagles won't get punished. And I think if the league doesn't do something to the Falcons, they make a mockery, beyond a mockery, of the rules that apply to these communications. Just get rid of the rules. If you're not going to do something about what the Falcons did, because it's the most blatant case of tampering I've seen with a free agent. If they don't do anything about it, just get rid of the rules altogether. Yeah, I agree, Mike, on the Eagles. I, I think that what Saquon Barkley said was believable. And I you can check Howie Roseman's phone, which I think they probably will. And he's not going to have a phone call to Saquon Barkley. And we move on and the Eagles are off the hook. But yes, yeah, something needs to be done about the Falcons because it was blatant. It's out there. The smoking gun, as you said, Mike, is right there in front of them. There doesn't need to be a long investigation. It's pretty cut and dried. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.